the invisible man by h g wells and today we are on chapter number 14 at port stow port stow is one of the towns that is on the way of iping uh, and to the final destination that the invisible man reaches before he is finally you know he meets his end and this is an another destination it is not a very important town nothing much happens here and yet this name occurs as the title of the chapter it is another town please remember just like iping iping is one town obviously it is so important because we meet the invisible man for the first time and so much happens there then we come to port stow it is like you know he is carrying on on a journey and on the way there is this small town not very important and then finally he reaches another town which proves to be his final destination so at port stow the characters that we meet in this chapter is the first character mr marvel mr marvel would be an accomplice to the invisible man so wherever the invisible man goes marvel goes along and a new character is a mariner and please remember we have not discussed this character in the list because it is a very minor character you just we don't know his name he doesn't occur for long and he just comes to give us some very important information and then he goes so a mariner but what is a mariner who is this character of the mariner a mariner is like a sailor so even if you forget this it is absolutely okay but just for your information uh in chapter number 14 we see that marvel and the invisible man together are traveling through the countryside of england away from iping they have left iping forever we have in chapter number 12 we had said this that now the invisible man goes and he would be never heard of in iping again and in chapter number 13 even though uh, mr marvel had tried to resign from his post but forcefully he has been made to be a part of the plans of the invisible man so they are together and they are traveling through the countryside but what is happening what is the invisible man up to why has he not let this man go if you remember from the inn he had taken two things these are his two possessions the first is his books of course he needed his books and the second were clothes do you remember he had taken the clothes of cousin bunting why did he need the clothes he must have thought that i would take you know i would wear the clothes i would become visible again and i would maybe go to some other village and stay just like he was staying in iping so his original plan try to understand from this whole scenario it is not mentioned anywhere but as a reader who is you know taking this journey along with the invisible man try to understand his original plans his original plans must have been that he would wear the clothes that he had taken from iping that he had taken from the inn and he would carry on like before maybe he would stay at some inn just like the coach and horses inn and maybe he would carry on his experiments but his original plans have failed why have they failed in this chapter we see that marvel is sitting on a bench 
and the poor man is visibly tired you know he is not used to walking and on top of that he has to carry these this you know this whole burden of books and everything with him so he is sitting on a bench he he looks very tired and there are the books on the bench along with him so he the author shows us marvel sitting on a bench at the town of port store of course i've told you enough about this town and the books are seen on the bench along with him but where is the blue bundle where are the clothes they have apparently been abandoned somewhere what is the meaning of abandoned the author mentions that the blue bundle uh, the author mentions that the blue bundle containing the books sorry i'm sorry containing the clothes has been abandoned what is the meaning of abandoned it has been thrown away why now my question is you know why has the bundle been abandoned what happened to the original plan of the invisible man uh, he the the plan supposed is supposed to be changed change in plans why because now the invisible man realizes that even if he puts on clothes he will not be able to live in any village in the countryside like before why because his description and the secret of his invisibility has been disclosed it is as if the news of his uh, his presence in the countryside an invisible man is there roaming about in the countryside it looks as if this whole secret has been revealed and he can just not go anywhere no village would allow him they would immediately recognize him as the man who had created such rakus who had created such commotion in the town of iping and he had also hurt so many people so maybe he is also arrested on top of the fact that he was also a thief he had committed the burglary at the vicarage so he cannot go to any village and he has to just abandon the first plan and now his second plan is working that the um, the accomplice which means marvel will do the job for him so marvel will not be able to escape the invisible man so quickly so marvel is sitting on a bench and soon a mariner comes and sits beside him he is you know holding a newspaper and he starts a conversation he starts a conversation with marvel about the story in the newspaper about the invisible man so the newspapers of the countryside are filled with news about the invisible man they have